on mobile. It needs to be properly responsive. So here's a grid of 12 images, like pretty much what you would be doing. And as I resize the page, like this, the grid just gets smaller and smaller and the images are proportionally smaller. So that's that's the kind of layout you're going, you, you need. Um, and I've just made these borders red so we can see them and the background grey so we can see the borders. So that's, that's kind of what you want to achieve. And the way that's achieved is these images, key, key thing to do is um, keep these elements proportions as the page is resized. Um, and if you look at the style of this, of these images, they're all the same style, all these images. Um, and uh, style's basically just got a border. So then these are in, each of these rows are in a group. So holding down that control key and press, so there's this, these three images are in a group. Let's have a look at what those group is. This group A, and the key thing about the images is don't make them fix width, don't make this group fix width, and don't make the image fix width. So then, if you've got all that in place, here's your 12 3 by 4 grid. When you do your responsiveness, it's going to be look like that on a phone. It's going to look like that when it's in on a phone and in landscape. So that's the layout, and I'll, I'll give you the link and make this editable so you can just copy and paste this, have, you know, examine this and see how it's put together.